Egypt. Smile like an Egypt, like a big church of cat, like a girl who got a... The nail-biting drama of the 2024 UEFA European Championship continues and a meeting here to determine which country will make it through to the final. Stay tuned to find out live here on EA TV. Hello and welcome to our coverage of the semi-final here at the Euros. My name is Derek Ray, positioned here on the commentary gantry and sitting next to me with microphone in hand is Stuart Robson. Excitement levels are off the charts, it must be said. It's Germany against Denmark. Well, what a matchup between these two excellent teams. Both have played really well to reach this stage of the tournament, but which one is going to go through to the final? I think this could be really close today. Magnificent challenge to win it back. Here's the starting lineup for Germany. Manuel Neuer gets the nod in goal. Antonio Hudiger plays alongside Jonathan Tah in central defence. And the idea is to have just the one striker up there trying to pose problems for the opposition. Good move in the making from Germany. But quick thinking defensively. And the starting lineup for Denmark. Kasper Schmeichel stands between the posts. Andreas Christensen plays alongside Simon Kerr in central defence. Christian Eriksen plays alongside Pierre Emil Heubier in central midfield. And so many different ways to configure an attack. In this case, it'll be two men up front. Gundogan. Kimi Return to Gundogan And angling it back Giving it a try Just can't get it past him Not covering up defensively Course Here's Havertz Top class defending Oh, thwarted there, and what a piece of defending we've just witnessed. Going well. The cross is on. They'll be doing a fine job of protecting the ball. Well, sadly, they just couldn't keep possession. Rasmus Hoilun. Oh, beating his opponent with ease. Christian Eriksen that. Can they convert? Vital intervention. And over from Ericsson. Well, he didn't miss by all that much with the header. Just a little bit off target. Musiala. A meaty but fair challenge, and it will be a throw-in. Andri. Now with Havertz. Gundogan. Has someone to play it to. Well, just the tackle that was needed. Under real pressure defensively, will they pay the price? Well, here we can see it again, and no wonder the manager is furious. They just have to get tighter here, deal with the danger, otherwise that's the outcome. Not good enough defensively.
Well, the ball is moving once more. How important will that opening goal prove to be? Andri. Now with Kimmich. Toni Kroos. Pass after pass, keeping their opponents moving. And just like that, they don't have the ball anymore. Christian Nurgard. Kea. Rasmus Hoylun. A very effective challenge put in. Kimmich. Well, that'll be a free kick. Ericsson. Using all his defensive acumen to cut it out. Tony Kroos. Gundogan. Viet. Almost weighing up the opposition with a string of neat passes. Maximilian Mittelstedt. Germany in a position of menace. And that brings the attack to an end. Christian Eriksen now. On the ball, Yannick Vestergaard. And Denmark struggling to keep it. Well, in terms of added time, a minimum of one minute. Rudiger. And with that, the first half draws to a close. Well, as they get the ball rolling again, interesting to see how this second half pans out. Tar. Maximilian Mittelstedt. It's with Gundogan. Wirt. The well, passing moves like this will build confidence. It needs an accurate cross. Oh, he looks threatening. And playing it back. Credit to them for winning back possession. Christian Nurgard. Christian Eriksen threads it through. And he's got and scored to level it again. Well, here it is again, and it's a superbly weighted through ball to break that defensive line. And then what a finish. That's been hit with such power and pace. The keeper has no time to react. It's a brilliant strike. So underway again here on the back of that leveller. Excellent refereeing, advantage in operation. Jamal Musiala. Havertz. Havertz. A chance to nudge in front, corner kick here. Let's to go short. Giving them a different option by moving in field. 
Well, nothing comes of it. It looked promising. And so 30 minutes left for play in this one. Gives it a go. Tremendous block. In position. The save was a good one. Corner kick taken by Christian Eriksen and foiled only by the crossbar and striking the crossbar. Now will the keeper have to pay the price for that mistake? Excellent use of the ball as they make their way forward. Is it going to be Christian Eriksen? Stopped a certain goal. So making the substitution now. And the short option preferred. Rivière. Kerr. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Maximilian Mittelstädt. Kai Havertz. Promising move from Germany. He'll be delighted to have won the ball, having made that difficult challenge. And a clear foul, but the referee letting the play flow. Gundogan, effective piece of attacking play. Oh, that's a super piece of defending. Christensen, Kerr has it, Vestergaard, well, plays with a positional sense that is second to none, Gunduan and Kai Havertz, well, that's how to do it inside your own penalty area. Just 10 minutes to go. Can they nudge in front late on here? Could be! And a very good challenge. Florian Wirtz. This is Kroos. Considerable progress made by Gundogan as the attack continues. Genuine chance. And a strong glove on the ball from the keeper. Christensen. What to like about that pass. Musiala. Florian Diaz. Kimi. Really vital interception here. A good pressure high up the pitch. His determination there for all to see. Sends it back. Oh, there it is! And surely we've witnessed the goal that will take them through to the final. Astonishing scenes here. But here we can see it again. He's shown outstanding vision to find the perfect cutback. But should the keeper be beaten at his near post? I don't think so. He really needs to do better in those situations. Well, as they kick off again, 2-1 the current state of affairs. And there it is, the full-time whistle. The host nation have done it. Germany through to the final of the Euros. Well, what a tense game that was. They really did have to dig deep to come out on top. But they showed a lot of determination and character today. And they'll need all those qualities in what should be a great final.
And I think it's fair to say he'll be happy with his own contribution in this game, Stuart. Well, I thought he had a good all-round performance today, only emphasised by the late winner. An extremely important moment, and boy, did he deliver.